Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between Binkit and Thomas T. Binkit with the Norse, Thomas T with the Dark Elves. In the booth with me is Faimir. Hello. Hello there. We're here watching a Norse team that has suffered some casualties versus a nearly destroyed Dark Elves team with five loners. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's not much of a team for Thomas T, is there? Um, 13 players for the Norse. Strength up both. Lords of Frenzy at tackle. It's uh, looking pretty bad. Pretty, pretty terrible for the for the Dark Elves here. But they have the wizard. And maybe the wizard can win the game for them. Okay. They have a bomber. They have a, a good, uh, decent witch. Yeah. But yeah, they're lacking uh, everything else. Yeah, it's not good, is it? They haven't got any ads. We've got no... No ads, no guard. Yeah, no guard. Terrible. So yeah, it's looking, it's looking pretty grim for them. Yeah, Thomas, they have the strategy of uh, losing two players per round of play. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ducky. Some people it took them like it took six months to get made. It's uh, it obviously it helped that you were a Blood Bowl legend. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, J5. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it, it can take a long time. It's harder now as well with, like, obviously having the fold up, fill the cluster. Piling on. Ugh. Nothing. Does nothing. Finally gets a game where it's good. And it does nothing. Foul. Does something. It's okay, yeah, nice foul. Not so apple. Enough. Apple, wow. Instant full apple. Someone is going balls to the wall here. Interesting. And when you think about it, he's only got this guy hasn't got tackle. I mean obviously frenzy is like soft tackle, isn't it? So he's got he's got a bunch of frenzy. And he but, has three tackles. Oh, he has another two tacklers. Yeah, he has only, but he's only got three tackle total, which isn't that much, is it? Two so tacklers and two frenzy players. I think that's more like the... It's not terrible, but because I Because how much dodge or has Thomas T? Thomas T has one dodge? Yeah, that's true, he hasn't... Yeah, yeah, he's got, yeah, he's got two dodges, so it's not... It's not that... <laughs> not that... Not that important having the tacklers, fair enough. Oh, he's going to foul back with Dirty Player. No, nothing. No, no, I like that. I like, I like the... I like the, uh... I like the positive build. Is Antonio Banderas even Spanish? Yes, he is, he is, yes. yes. I, didn't, I didn't even know where he was from. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't mean he's Spanish, right? Just because he gets the Spanish roles, because he could have easily been like, you know, some kind of South American, right? Or just like Portuguese or something, like. Yeah, no, 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 no. Antonio Banderas is actually Spanish. He was a very famous actor in Spain before jumping to America. Yeah. For like, for Is people... he becoming even more famous and richer? <laughs> well, eh. Uh... I can do better than say and the puss in boots. I show you the gato con botas. I can tell you that. My name is Don Diego de la Vega. I soy El Zorro. Right. It was the line from El Zorro movie, you know? <laughs> well, the, or I mean... Inigo Montoya from The Princess Bride. Ah, yes. You kill my father, uh, you know? My name is Inigo Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Because, like, you know, obviously I'm British and I've got no idea. <laughs> so I may be very ignorant not knowing the Spanish, but I didn't Okay, know people are getting 
maybe a little too rowdy with the fouling here. Yeah, this has got really rowdy, isn't it? They're fouling these dirty, they're fouling these pommers. Like there's no tomorrow. Oh, here comes the bolt. Okay. Well, that seems a pretty good time to bolt, doesn't it? There's no guard there, so you can pom him. This is a, this was a really weak wizard, uh, like really weak position against the wizard from Binky. Yeah. Really good for Thomas too here. Oh, is there a guard there? Yeah, there is a guard there. Okay, no, it's not that bad then. All right, it's not as bad as I thought it was because I didn't see this guard here. Yeah, it's, it's actually not near as bad as I thought it was because I didn't see the guard. I didn't see strength like that. In which case, it probably wasn't that bad. Well, he's just stunned. He's just stood there like a dickhead. That seems like it's not going to work. Well, blood step can work, but against Strange for Frenzy. Not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad? Here comes the tap. I'll be smashing to pieces or her to pieces if you if you prefer <laughs> there you go but yeah the, the size that would have been the bloods that would have been great against this against just the bolt right because the old would have pushed and then he would have pushed he would have sidestepped to here and he would have sidestepped to there and he would have been away and it would have been amazing but yeah it was easy to clear the tackle though, which he did and now, the apple com comes in on the witch hole. Now, Binkit's biggest fear is dealt with. On turn four, should be relatively, relatively easy for him now. He should start getting some attrition at some point. Now that the uh, apple is gone. Danny Trejo is like Argentinian, is is he? I think. Danny Trejo in Mexican, I think. Oh, and he is hundred percent of the yeah Mexican uh, South American roles and all that. Yeah. And he was actually uh, in jail for being uh, in the bands. Yeah, I knew he was in. I, I thought he was like in, you know, in the football gangs, which is what I thought it was. No, no, he was in the actual uh, <laughs> dangerous, dangerous gangs. Yeah, yeah, but that, they're the football ones. <laughs> that's in Argentina, where the mental uh, football uh, gangs is. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's what I thought he was in, but he, it might not. I could be wrong. <laughs> yes, Dr. Fields, bad, yeah. He always plays Mexicans, doesn't he? Yeah, right. Uh, the, yeah, the, the, the concept of Mexicans that people watching American movies have. Mm -hmm. oh, he was just he was born in Los Angeles. So that was completely false about the Argentina story? <laughs> no, Argentina, no, he was no. I said that he was a Mexican. I think his parents are Mexican. Yeah. He has an American passport, yes, but yeah, Mexican growing descent. up and all that was a, is a Mexican heritage. Yeah, yeah, Mexican descent. In prison for armed robbery and drug offences. There you go. Yeah. Can't be serious. This looks pretty much over, doesn't it? Uh, like I know it's early days, but like the wizard, the wizard not working, it just means that the elves are on a clock, really, because they're they, they uh, yes. lucky. and they don't have players with the skills. 
Yeah. To actually be able to stop uh, this thing going. Yeah, that team, that team is trash. They've just got a team of loners. And then the Norse have got guard and mighty blow and everything and tackle, and it's just. I thought the. The, uh, the Norse have got like the inevitability in this match, haven't they, basically? A bit of a cheeky bit of uh, Magic the Gathering stuff for you there. This is a nice move, look. He blitzes with this guy, I'll pause it. I'll pause it so that we can get it before Binkit fucks it up. <laughs> this is a nice move here, right? Look, one, two, three, four, five, right? Hit him, push him there. Second one, hit him there. And then you get to hit the, uh, the blitzer as well. That's brilliant. It's a brilliant move there. Will we see that? Probably not. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, there you go. There you go. We saw it. Incredible. Well, well done, Binkit. See, he did the gym play and he was rewarded by just four fucking pushes. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's it. Uh, <laughs> absolute disaster. Half of the team used to for that play. <laughs> there you go. There you go. No pause today. Oh, God. That's your reward. Oh, well, yeah. That's what happens when you do a play I like. You get the dice I roll. <laughs> And I'm not going to say that the ball is exposed, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, if you've got a that's pound... That's a very easy... <laughs> yeah, it was hard to get a 2D on it still, but it was... Yeah, no, it's also, yeah. And the 1D was very... It's the Hail Mary block. It was a Hail Mary block, uh, that. <laughs> yeah, I really jinxed that, didn't I? <laughs> I was really proud of that as well, so, I mean, maybe it wasn't that good, maybe it was, who knows. It's not down good. Like, maybe it was obvious, and maybe it was good, but either way, it happened. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> Tony, yeah. Alright. I didn't like this push direction because now you've blocked your, your Yeti coming through. Your not Yeti Ulf coming through here. Surely you've got to go over this way, though, right? Because this is where your players are to make the cage. I much preferred. Okay, we cast him. I much preferred hitting this guy. Because yeah. you're strength 5, so the frenzy, no problem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can hit him there. He's occupying both players, and then you can run through here with a ball as well, and you've got already got half a cage. I guess he's using them two as the cage anyway, but... I don't know. I much prefer pushing him to that. Push him there. Ah, okay, so the uh, yeah. Hmm. The stun's the problem if you're gonna. But you could have gone the other side. I don't know, maybe. Double score, so yeah. Oh, I wanted him to be there so I could run through. But I guess maybe, maybe what he did was better. Oh, not even trying to do a 3D block. Wow. Unbelievable. What kind of a nerd the coach is here? Call a space cadet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, very safe. Wait, all three come up. He does have two babes, so that's not surprising. Oh, wow, the heat has, has got three Norse, which is great for the Norse, because that means they're guaranteed to be to on for the play second half. in the second half. Yeah. 
none for the uh, Dark Elves, so they could end up with uh, very few for the second half. Ten rolls for them. And only nine rolls for the Norse. I guess the bad thing for the Norse is it exposes... Oh, it doesn't... He could have just have three crap guys in the OS. But he's really trying some kind of bizarre anti-one-turn defense, which seems pointless to me against a move in seven with no re-rolls. I would have just put the three shitters on the LOS. I think this was unnecessary. You know, it may be technically the, the correct thing to do, of course. I'm not saying it's, like, it's obviously, you know, less chance to score in the one turn, obviously, by setting up like this, but, uh... I think, you know, good luck to someone if they're gonna if they're gonna try and score and move seven one turn it without reloads. He hasn't even got oh he's got sidestep. I don't know how he's gonna deal with this. He's not even trying. So, the one turn defense worked. I mean, I'm pretty sure trying to stop the one turn is the best, the best thing to do, right? I just don't think I would have done it. Yeah, we didn't bother him in tactics. Yeah, the Dark Elf team's trash has done very well to get to the pot uh, there, well, the round of 16. And there you go, he fails two. And oh, and one of the witch, one of his win. players, and Norris to lose some, but well, right. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind one of his best players, one of his only players. <laughs> Yeah, one of his only. The, the, all, the other player left, sorry. The, other, the, the strength for uh, Blotch. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of his two players. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> two good players. Two rookies and five fucking five journeymen. Jesus Christ. It's horrific, isn't it? Like, what a horrific, what a joke. At least it's going to be quick. Yeah. Full 11 for the Norse. You can try to dacker here, but again, without any dodge, it's going to be terrible. You can try to bang it in quick. If he bangs it in quick, then he loses 2-1, guaranteed. So, I guess you try to dacker with, uh, with no dodge. But he's not going to do that. Get the ref off, guy. <laughs> Even more pain for Thomas T. the DP though. Well, oh, massive figure to change. <laughs> block, block. Now straight in for the foul. Yeah, because I was thinking like one in nine this, whereas if at least if you foul, you're one in you're a one in eighteen to get sent off, so I think there's more it's it's safe, it's literally safer to do the foul first. I'll go to pick up the ball first too. Just yeah, out of habit, you know? Yeah, that's a fair that's a fair thing. Not wrong to care about the ball, is it? <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna change much. <laughs> oh, nice knock. Pushes into an extra hit there. Oh wow, he's act he's activated the dirty player already. Oh, I don't like that so much. I would have liked the big gun for. Yeah, I like that. I keep 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 him a bit further back. Move seven so we can reach either sideline. 
<laughs> Not too keen on the GFIs, but it's worked. I wouldn't blitz that guy, I would blitz some other guy in the... Maybe the strength uh, 4 and risk the 3 plus 2 plus oh, to pick wow. up the ball. No, I, I quite like blitzing him, but then I would have uh, I would have picked it up and then gone here and just handed it off to him. Because who cares, like this guy can't do anything to him from behind, can he? And then you've got your ball and your strength 4 blodger, and then at least you've got like half chance if, you, if you've got the ball on him. And then just screened him off. Can't really, there's not a need to cage here. I think, I think, I think getting the ball in the strength four bludger and then just screen with him would have been pretty nice. And just leave this guy behind you. Because what could, like, what can he even do? Well, if you could have a uh, blitzed him with doubtless. I mean, th this guy. This guy can't do anything, can he? No, but they want the. Yeah, this, this one can. The runner can. Yeah, but I mean, I would have just, I would have, but like, I would have, I would have handed off and screened him off, you know? So, screen him off from him. Yeah, screen him off because he's a badass. And yeah, obviously, like, him giving you the, the assist would be terrible. But I mean, he could just dodge in and one day this guy anyway, you know? Like, they're still very safe from Binkit, isn't it? Very safe from Binkit. Because like this guy's the one doing your blitz every turn anyway, right? So you just might as well have the ball in him. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And he's got dodge. So is your one player with dodge? Okay, I'll give it to him now. Then. Nope. Yeah. See, because now this guy can one day the ball, can't he? So you've got to tag him, so you can't just go and one day the ball. Whereas if you had it on your strength four bludger, he couldn't do anything to him. So I did like getting it on him. I mean, you can always move it to the strength four bludger later. So maybe that's what he's thinking. You know, like when he gets the ball based or whatever, he'll he'll, he'll hand off then. Uh, obviously, I'm not really criticising him at this point. Of course, he is down to like about six players, <laughs> and five of them are loners. <laughs> So it's like, you know, it's, I'm not like saying it's terrible or anything. I just said I would just have got it on that guy and then run around like a dickhead. It's, it seems very hard. Like, it seems like Pinky is playing this very well. And, He's doing the right uh, choices and taking things, you know? Yeah, just making it super safe. Every single, yeah, every single play is a safe play. Exactly where he's going for. Yeah. Oh God. Turn. Very nice. Not bad. Turn. Everything work. Yeah. But now the next turn's probably going to get harder. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a lot, a lot of Norse players around. Line in the darkness again. And this is the big problem, right, by now... Okay, I mean, he got cast, but even if he wasn't cast... Like, if you've got the ball and you strength four bludger, you can go and do something, can't you? And now you can't, because <laughs> he was able to blitz your one good player. So... Hmm...
go there, or does he try the GFIs to get in here? He does try the GFIs. Bound to something fail at some point. This is, this, this is not even a team. It's a group of uh, friends uh, that met at the pub. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's brutal. I mean, Thomas T had a very difficult situation. Yeah. But is it more than that? He managed to reach this point. You know, he has lost many, many players. Yeah. In the playoffs. And like even now, like. Uh... Even if it was on strength four blodger, it wouldn't be like that much better, would it? No. Shouldn't have, should have pushed it here, shouldn't he? So he could have uh, pushed him twice and then got an extra more hits on there. Maybe. Okay, he got power anyway, so it doesn't matter. Piles on the KO, disgusterous. Gets the cast! Gets the cast! <laughs> Absolutely right. He's going for the 60, 76 uh, SPB. <laughs> oh man. Oh god, there's another cast. <laughs> this is it. This is now, yeah, the. Very, very quick turns for the Mastiff from now on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and there's a bribe, isn't there, Stu? I think so. But the uh, hidden foul... Uh... <laughs> my god, my god. Thomas T is doomed to die in a horrible carnage in uh, the challenge, you know? <laughs> Right, so this turn he can move up the uh, blitzer and then hand off to him. And then next turn he can pass with a blitzer and then the last turn he can score with a blitzer. So he, he can do it. Oh, he's just going to score on him, he's on 30. I was thinking, because this guy's on 72, right, he could get accomplished in a touchdown. It would, it would take a couple of GFIs and it would take, like, you know, the handing off and passing and everything. But a 1-0 up, you can totally go for that because it doesn't actually mess it up. Uh, there's no risk is there, but I guess skilling him is pretty nice. Nicer than skilling him for another. Like, I don't even know what he'd get. I, I just didn't know what, you know what anyone else was on. Oh wow, we could see a pitch clear, very exciting. He should go forward six as well to count, catch the bouncing ball in case it's a scatter. But he's getting him to 26 and MVP away is alright isn't it as well. So yep, takes him, oh ok no, I would have put him there. Scoring on him would be pretty fine. Why is it running so seven lights fine anyway? So yeah, back is better then. And he gets it the off. Gets the foul. There's the gas. Holy shit. And that's it. No else do we see. Yeah, pitch clear, seven cars. <laughs> Legal uh, concede because uh, many times he was only going to be able to get to players. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Holy shit. Well, that was rather one sided, wasn't it? Yes. Boy, how. Yes, but at least the starting four level, you know, to go to the open uh, league. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> one of the two players. Uh, the hand any skill, yes. <laughs> brutal, brutal, I mean... Yeah. Great performance to get that far though, wasn't it, by Thomas yes. D, so... 
you know, congrats to him for that. And congrats to Binkit for getting to the quarterfinals. Thank you very much, Faimir. Thanks. Pleasure to see you here. Why not? It's pleasure to see the North win, but okay. <laughs> they did well. They did well. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.